We're heading to Fiji! After adventuring close to home for the past three years, Dave and I have tackled our travel anxiety and booked a trip to the South Pacific. We invite you to join us as we head off the beaten path to explore the adventure playground of Northern Fiji. You'll soon see why pushing past the end of your comfort zone can spark some of the most rewarding experiences of your life. With Vianney Bay Resort as our first destination, this voyage from Vancouver, Canada will involve three planes, an automobile, and a boat. Oh my goodness, you couldn't find a closer beach? Our split second decision to visit the South Pacific was the result of a pent up travel itch. We were watching a TV show filmed in Fiji and as soon as we saw beaches and sunshine after a wet winter, flights were booked. You could compare this to going grocery shopping on an empty stomach. This is cute. When deciding our must-haves for this vacation, our answers led us to Taviuni, Fiji's third largest island from an archipelago of over 300. Known as the Garden Island for its lush vegetation and breathtaking landscape, Taviuni sounded like the perfect adventure hub for water sports, jungle hikes, and cultural experiences. The big voyage continues and we're grabbing a boat to sail over to Vianney Bay. Learning to scuba dive has been on our bucket list, so what better place to start than on the Rainbow Reef, one of the most spectacular soft coral reefs in the world. We chose Dive Academy Fiji at Vianney Bay Resort for this adventure due to their great reputation, paddy dive courses, and small group excursions. I love it! Outdoor shower! Never did I think that my stomach would determine where we stayed on vacation. Due to the remoteness of this area, finding a place that could accommodate my no gluten, no dairy diet was a priority. Vianney Bay Resort certainly came to the table with flexibility and exceptional dining experiences. I'm gonna take a shower by moonlight. That's pretty cool. I've had the privilege of exploring many countries in my life and experiencing the local culture with the residents has always been the most rewarding adventure. Today I've been invited to attend a very special student celebration at a nearby primary school. What, what does prefect mean? So you are chosen to be the leaders. Oh, role model. To set the yeah. example for the rest of the That's students. Right. And who chooses those students? The, the teachers. The teachers the decide teachers. who have the yeah. best leadership yeah. skills? After an amazing stay at Vianney Bay Resort, we're off to Taviuni for the next leg of our trip. But before we reach Matei, we're taking our inner children on the ultimate adventure. We're heading to a natural water slide, which is up in the hills of Taviuni. Dave might be the guinea pig. I might send him up first. I'll just say I'm filming him. Before Dave goes down the slide, he's checking to make sure there are no tree trunks in the way, no sharp objects, rocks, anything that might hurt us. We booked our stay at Coconut Grove Beachfront Cottages due to their very convenient location and reputation for friendly service. The cottages are perfectly situated by a reef that is ideal for snorkeling and within walking distance to dive shops, a fabulous cafe, and a popular cliff-top restaurant with exceptional views. Getting to the start of the Lavena Coastal Hike Trail, the car ride was about 45 minutes from Matei and 15 minutes just getting organized, paying our fees to get into the park. So we had wanted to hike the five kilometers to the waterfalls and then take a boat along the coastline, but the ocean is too choppy, so they're not able to do it. So we're gonna hike five kilometers there and five kilometers back. Hola! Hi! Bye! Bye! Looks like I'm gonna get a little bit wet, which is okay, who cares? It's part of the adventure. Ridiculously gorgeous. My goodness. It's steamy. This is so much fun. How heavy is your bag? I don't know, maybe five pounds? Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> what is in there? Binoculars. Binoculars. Okay. Pencil. Um. Pass the salad. Ooh. First aid kit. Rain jacket, so I didn't bring mine in the end. Well, what happens if we get trapped out here at night? You're gonna be cold. I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. There's the most spectacular waterfall in front of us in a canyon. And now we have to swim there. It's a little deep. All right, let's do it.
That was incredible. So Dave's off doing another dive on the Rainbow Reef and I'm just taking it easy. I tried to do the introductory dive course. The second I went underwater, there was this incredible pressure in my chest and for some reason I felt like I was not getting enough air. So I'm overthinking. I'm worried because I don't want to touch the corals because I don't want to kill them. I'm worried because what if there's a big scary fish that comes after me? We're about to get on a little boat to take us to Kamiya Island. <laughs> this is going to be a fun boat ride. <laughs> now we can get out of here. Oh, that's so funny. So we need to get over there somewhere. closer to the ocean can you get? Are we the only ones here? Yes! Oh. Till For how long? The whole time? Yes, for the whole time! Oh my goodness! We chose to stay at the Mungai Beach Eco Surf Resort due to their proximity to uncrowded surf waves and a reputation for exceptional hospitality. We also read that the sense of community with the staff makes you feel like you're part of a family which after a long period of social distancing sounded very inviting. Oh yay, lentil soup for lunch? They look like berries, sea grapes. Cassava chips are so good. We came to Kamiya Island because we wanted to surf and the weather's not cooperating. So we need to take advantage of this great weather and do something else that we don't do enough, which is sleep and uh, basically spend some quality time together asleep. There are only two of us at the resort and we're getting a live serenade. This is amazing. We're gonna try kava for the first time. They just said kava makes you sleepy, slack and slow. So I guess this means good night and we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> we're about to leave and the sun has come out. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? It's a very special place. It made me very emotional and it's hard to leave. The food here has been unbelievable. The last three years my gut has not been very happy. It's not a pleasure to eat, which is tough for a foodie. We're eating everything that we typically can't eat at home. So, what does that tell you? We're we have to, to move Fiji. to Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> Weather station. If the rock is hot, it's sunny. If the rock is gone, cyclone. Welcome to paradise! <laughs> These are my sunglasses for today. <laughs> when you have a cocktail that looks like this, you're going to be drinking a lot of them. <laughs> what is it that was so great about the diving? No, yes, <laughs> Excuse me. I got it! 